this is Kelly from Root Pursuit and today we are working on this stacked pocket belly band. This one just goes, I made it specifically for this journal and so this is my French country journal. I measured it to the to the page, cut it to length a little bit shorter and then it's got multiple pockets and I made it so that each pocket uh, piece can go all the way down to the very last pocket. So even this one, if it was longer, see if I can, oh, hold on, just show you. So this one can go all the way down to there. So, and then of course, being a belly band, you can, Take a piece and tuck it in here once you've glued down each end. And this reminded me, I just opened up the book to show the example and this was a video I did a long time ago and I just think this is the coolest thing. And uh, so I'm gonna leave that video link for how to do this in the description below. So if you wanna do this belly band, uh, you basically, it's a ribbon on top of a ribbon and then a tag or other piece of ephemera just kind of slides through like so. I'm sorry if you notice my bruise. I got a bruise here on my, on my wrist and I don't know how I did it. I really don't know how I did it. I think it was because I was, I created, I built like a dog pergola. <laughs> for my little tiny dogs and the roof is from a like a children's playhouse so it's like that second story with the angled roof someone was just gonna throw it away and I got it for free and then I built it up with bricks so it's just like a little kind of like you would see at the park except miniature version because my dogs are all about 5 to 15 pounds so they're all little ones all right, so back to this. Let's just see here. I got a little cluster snag in there. I'll re-glue that real quick and then I'll show you. There's a couple different ways that you can do this. The next one I'm going to try to make is using this striped and I like the width of it. And uh, this is a book is a Reader's Digest book. So I'm just going to measure the height for this page. I'll cut that size. Oh wow, that matches this page really well. <laughs> Put it right there, wouldn't that look nice? I was considering that I have a lot of border pieces, so you could use just like those border uh, scraps to kind of wrap them around and do like little uh, almost like belly bands the other direction belly bands so you'd have one wide belly band on your book glued here and here and then you just have little strips around so maybe we'll try that you need kind of longer strips in general these are wider border strips so these might be kind of fun to use I mean, these are almost so wide. I really love these, but I don't think I'm gonna use that for these. No, no, no. Not today. That color is kind of nice. Oh, not bad. Let's see what else? I like the green with it. This is two-sided. What else do we have in here? Got that blue. No. No, no, no. So picky, it turns out. This one I like. Okay, so this color I like. And this, uh, this color sequence. The thing that I figured out when I was doing this is that you really need to remember that uh, you leave a lot more space at the top than you do at the bottom. And that's so when you put your first, and that's what I did on here as well. So you'll notice the distance between here and here, there's a lot more room 
on the top part of the belly band. And that's, of course, so that whatever you stick in the top, you have room to sort of see it sticking out. I think I'll do the floral in the middle. And these two are about the right width, I think, that I want. I have a nice grid along here to help me cut it straight-ish. These aren't, these aren't very wide, but that's okay. It's not a very tall book, so that's why that is going to be that way. So hopefully these are wide enough. They're just going to have to be, even if they're little tiny pockets. for a little short and stout ephemera. If we stagger them, then we can't... Well... Hmm. I just like the stacked look. And I think these should be a little wider. But we're just going to do minis. And then we're going to leave enough room. So we're going to make these all the same width. So that all of them can wrap around. And that should be plenty. And then I'll just measure all of them the same. This one's the same as those. So they're all the same. Scraps away. Yep, that's how I want to do that. Get out my glue, which I put over here. Oh, and if you do want to ink it, I suggest just inking both sides right away. You're probably not going to be able to see the ink on both sides, but I feel like I did it before and I kept doing them upside down, so it was a pain to remove them. So I'm just going to ink them on both sides and that's the end of it. <laughs> and I won't have to worry about it being upside down. <laughs> and I'll go whichever way. As soon as I turn it upside down, around backwards, then I forget what I'm doing. Okay, so just make sure those are even. Glue. Line that back up. Just a little on the edge. So then, oh, then we can even it up. And another thing you want to think of is make sure there's enough of the pocket below of the pattern so that if you do cut out a circle or something that it's covered. I'm just going to avoid that step and then I won't have to worry about it. Okay, so there's the next one. And both of these pockets, I am not gluing down the bottom. Just on the last one, I'm going to glue the bottom part of that pocket. So both of these, you can slide your item all the way down like that. And then when this one goes down, it's going to be sealed on the bottom. So I'm just going to, this is crooked. Just crooked. I don't want that. Maybe just a little crooked. Not a lot crooked. Okay. All right. So pick a pick a side and glue the bottom. Overlap it just a bit. And then we can put our glue on the back. You can do it. Okay. This kind of gets a little thickish in there. Just make one. 
that. Where's my, here we go. I got my, you want to do this on the edges, your bone folder, and you just want to go in an upward motion from the bottom so that you don't catch on this, uh, the lip there. Okay, so there we have a little belly on. We'll get out the book and see how it looks inside the book. Got that there. And actually, let's try. Got some tickets. Flip it right in there. Let's see this one. Fits in there really nicely. Nice and snug. So that one is quite cute. And I'm just going to ink around all the edges. Because I like it. ready to go right in and put little little pieces okay one more done for the pile and now I think it might be just fun to use some of the border strips to make the belly band uh, on a like the bunch of belly bands on a belly band kind of deal uh, what size book I'm gonna use my this size book for it. Open up to a page. And there we go. Looks just the right size. Blue uh, right into the garbage can. Okay, no doing that. All right. So now we get to find some orders that we like. This one's kind of fun. You could do all of them in the buffalo check. Oh, this is fun. What else do we have? I think these would be just kind of nice on there, nice and neutral. And you could do, oh, look at that, that's perfect. I'm just going to be so lazy here and those all come apart. Yes, they did. And that's like three pockets, just like that. So for this one, we're just going to leave the bottoms open, I think. Because why not, right? And this will be like the fastest one ever. Give this one a little more room. Base paper wasn't wasn't the most straight, but that's okay. Just kind of And because of the way these are, they don't move at all. So I'm just going to make sure that the width between here and here is the same as this. So they need a little closer together. And then I'm going to move it all around. So let me get that glue down and then I'll eye it up again. Okay. 
Okay. There is our end result. It does feel a lot better when you push these down with the bone holder or dough scraper. <laughs> That's what you have. Um, I think it would be fun to add some of these to them. I'm just going to make three of these real quick. Ink them a little. And then I thought it might be fun to use some of this tape because they have little images on them. Yep. <laughs> All right, this one's like a little bird. Let's see how that goes. Little bird. Oh, this one's got a bird on it too. This one has a flower. Okay. Hope you can see those. They're kind of cute. And then we'll just put each tag in there. Well, here we go. That's super easy. Very quick. Very easy. Very cute. Straighten this out a little. And you can distress ink on there if you so desire. So we've got three of these. Put a little tag in here. One more. See that? Try it on the other side and see what it looks like. All right. We got a little one in there. Guess it's a ticket kind of day. This one's more like a border flowers. Wait, maybe I'll try the butterfly one. I like that a little better. That can go in there. I got this one. And this one. So we've got three lovely ones. So you can pull out your scraps. It is a great scrap buster. See what you can come up with. These are these are fairly fast, especially once you get the hang of it and you kind of have a process down and maybe try different borders. So I could just go through and and something like this at the top of each one. Lots you can do to, to jazz them up. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you're interested in seeing more videos, you can go ahead and subscribe. If you're interested in seeing what I have available in my Etsy shop, I've been working on some new digitals. I have a Jane Austen one I've just put in and some other ones related to writing floral writing i think is what i called it so again uh, thank you to everyone who's bought things from my shop i really appreciate it and as always thanks for coming along and i'll talk to you later